Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am here at Chuckwalla Valley Speedway. Today should be fun. The weather looks amazing today. It's uh, cloudy, but no, no rain. Not one drop of rain landed over here. So this should be very fun. So the last time I was here uh, was 11 months ago. I did a 202.98 uh, with, the, with the wing and the splitter. I should hopefully get I don't know, maybe a 159 if I'm lucky. The weather is awesome today. Definitely cooler, cooler temps than, than 11 months ago. So yeah, I'm up in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put you in the car and we'll get on the track. All right guys, this is my fourth lap in on my second session. I wanted to give my initial thoughts on the race spread wing and arrow package. My first initial thoughts, the car is a lot more stable through mid to high speed corners. Uh, if you recall my last time here 11 months ago the car was very twitchy um, only having the front splitter and my uh, no no rear wing essentially um, messed with some of the uh, settings on my sway bar uh, actually completely removed the sway bar and it really did help the car now with the sway bar back on my front splitter on and the rear wing the car is very predictable doesn't want to spin out on me almost enough to where uh, I wanted to actually start rotating more. As you can see here, coming into this corner, I was understeering the entire time. I'm like almost full lock right there. Understeer, understeer, and then I start to go straight after I lift off the throttle. I will need to play with my alignment settings and possibly my damping settings to really try to get me a little bit more oversteer as I feel I can drive uh, better and if not faster with a little bit of oversteer than understeer. I went into Chuck Walla with zero AOA on my wing and um, as a test to see where the car kind of stands because Chuck Walla is a pretty high speed track kind of similar to Button Willow and that's the next track that I'm trying to uh, get a PB on. I really want to go sub two at Button Willow. So this was a good test. I think I'm going to go into Button Willow with zero AOA and kind of the same alignment settings I have now and see how she does. So I have a few buddies out here with me. Joel, you remember him from autocross. He was not in this car. He was in his Honda Civic. So he, that's his daily. That's a fun daily. And then this is his, you know, baby. He wants to track it more. And um, as you can see, it's on um, special black chrome RPF1s. He's on the same tire I am, uh, RT660. Um, anything else you want to tell him? Suspension or anything? Suspension, cause 1.5 diff a little bit of arrow and, and pretty much stock all engine but what coilovers are you on uh it's a special almost a one-off uh, <laughs> ast spec miata um suspension yeah pretty high dollar pretty high dollar coilover for sure single single adjustable though right actually no it's not even not it's just 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 right height 11k front uh 9k rear strings with the upper strings and if you already could tell, this was a 1.6, unless you guys aren't Miata people like us, I don't know. But yeah, 1.6, uh, Super Miata Rad, um, Super Miata coolant reout, and then exhaust, stock headers. Stock headers and just racing beat countback. That's it. Yeah. High. White line front and rear sway bars. Uh, <laughs> interesting seat, but it's a Kirky drag seat. <laughs> but he likes it. He, he likes it. So, uh, Blackbird Fabworks Lexan spoiler. So mild, mild build. Hard to and roll bar. Mild build, but uh, he's definitely he's not a he's not a beginner. He's definitely he's good at driving. Um, this is his first time here at Chuckwalla, but uh, it's I, I, this track is. It kind of in the between of maybe an intermediate and like a beginner. Um, definitely can be high speed if you want it to be, but uh, I, I feel like it's very forgiving here. Yeah, we're gonna we're just uh, keep uh, prepping up, and then we're gonna go out in a couple minutes.
sitting in the car because it's super windy outside. So to close out the video, I'm done for today. My fastest again was a 159.59 session after the one I just did. I hit a 159.99. So I'm running sub twos. The car has a lot more in it. I think it has a 57 in it. Maybe not with me driving, but yeah, I have a lot to learn about how the car handles now with the arrow some slight changes that are going to need to come with the sway bars and possibility of new coilovers but uh it's definitely an ongoing project so um yeah that's about it if you guys liked the video and enjoyed the content please leave a like and a comment see you guys in the next video peace out